there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. So in a couple of days time, we we're expecting a man and his mini digger to arrive to do some work out here in the yard. Um, just taking this quick opportunity to get the excess grass trimmed down just so we can see what he's going to be doing. Um, and then when I've done that, I've got to do a bit more work here in preparation for his visit. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. He's out there and he's trimming and don't get me wrong he's doing a really good job but there's grass everywhere and I want to try and clean the house there's grass going up the windows there's dust I love him so much but he makes such a bloody mess why and he's gonna come in and he's gonna walk the grass in and out and in and out. And in a while, this mat and the other one is just gonna be covered in grass. And then I'm gonna get annoyed. And then he's gonna whinge at me. <laughs> I'm really glad that everyone has been enjoying the new intro. And it took me quite a while to do that. So last week, I got a bit behind on housework. It happens occasionally, it happens to us all, even the best of us. So, tomorrow we have guests coming, guests who we've never met before, and I would actually just like to live in a little bit of a cleaner environment at the moment. So, after the strimming and the grass starting to go all over, it's housework time. So, let's put on some freaking angry music. Alexa! Play Marilyn Manson. It's great to clean to. Angry hoovering, 10 out of 10. So we're gonna task this chap and his digger with two jobs. Firstly, to scrape along the edge of the yard, um, all the way round really. And then when he's done that, we've got that pile of gravel for him to put everywhere. So that's one job. The other job is to do with the outside toilet, or the old outside toilets here. Um, we're going to connect this into the main drainage, and so we're going to get him to dig a trench, which will go across the yard. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, is try and cut away into this building, sort of through the front in the corner there. Um, I have to lift up some of those cobblestones underneath. Uh, yeah, so that's the other job is, is yeah, get a, a, some drains in here. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's cut into the floor of the room. It's now sort of level with the outside gully. Um, so I think next job will be have a go at taking up some of these old cobbles. Um, I'm making progress. Yay! I'm going to go and get a bit of pipe just to double check the depth that I'm going to. Obviously, I need it to be lower than where the cobble is going to go in the ground. But I think for now, that's looking all right. Ready for the bloke to come. So after yesterday's clean, today we have guests coming and our guests are actually some viewers from Canada. So today we have Glenn and Derek coming all the way from Canada, I think they're in France anyway, to come and have lunch with us. It's not every day this happens so it's quite special. It's quite nerve wracking actually because we've never met them before. Here we go. Here's to, here's to our visitors, uh, Glenn and Derek, and a big cheers to everyone. Cheers! cheers. cheers. <laughs> so, for two of our viewers from Canada, you've had the tour, what did you think? Good God, it's big. Very big and amazing. And I know you've never said that before, Glenn. That's what she said. <laughs> We're talking about the house, are we? <laughs> Thank you both very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Safe so much. Safe onward journey. And if anyone ever wants to pop in, just message. <laughs> <laughs> and even more of a winner. I got left with leftovers. How brilliant. So this apparently is tomato, mozzarella, goat's cheese, honey and walnuts. Mm. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Beavering away. So he's going to cut a trench from there across the yard to connect in the toilet. And uh, he had a loose wire on his horn on his digger. So is that two every now and then? That's why. Good morning, I'm just making myself a nice omelette and a cup of tea to start the day. <sighs> Me and the dogs were having a sleep in, but Nick came in and apparently said that I needed to get up, otherwise the, the, the nice man who's here digging the trench would think that there's something wrong with me. It's like, well, did he know that I was in bed? No, why are you telling him that? And now, I keep seeing Nick. My husband, he stood there and he's doing an impression. And I've seen this before, the look on the face of many men over the years of, oh, particularly a North Korean leader. You know when you see pictures of Kim Jong-un and he's like staring at things and nodding? This is, this is kind of what Nick's doing. And it's like, well, just let the bloke get on with the work, <laughs> you know? But no, I, I had to get out of bed to come and watch this very nice man dig a hole. Look at that. Look at the focus. 
So the one on the right is a normal egg and the one on the left is a lot bigger. I think we could have a double yolk here. Oh! Double yolk, excellent. Ha ha. <laughs> And there you go, before you know it, we put the pipe in, covered it in sand, and he's just about to fill it back in again. Not a bad morning's work. It's a pretty grim day out there today, so I've decided to come into the living room with dogs, away from what's going on outside with the digger, and uh, be in the control centre, doing computer updates, learning how to grow cucumbers with a Merlot asleep over there and a Flora asleep here with a dirty piece of bread. Nice cup of tea, several shopping lists and things to do lists. Honestly though, I don't, I don't have Band of Brothers on in the background. I'm not watching it. It's just for Flora and Merlot's like education on how great Band of Brothers is, especially episodes two and three. Never seen it before, don't know what I'm on about. Right, so Andy's just had to leave, which is fine. He's uh, done a good day's work here. A bit more work for me to do, getting rid of the rest of that pile of gravel there. But, um, well, we've been spreading it around the yard this afternoon, done a fair bit over there. Basically gone all the way around the perimeter and started filling in over there. So, uh, well, yeah, lots more wheelbarrowing to do, but for today, that's enough. I am knackered. What on earth are you rolling in? And why are you trying to roll in it too, Merlo? Oi! Flora, Merlo! It's gonna be bats for everyone at this rate. Another day and more materials being delivered. Yesterday was our day out of going out and doing things and finding things and buying things for the house like we do every week. But today, today is another important day. Today I think I'm finally ready to start moving things into the greenhouse. Now I've held back at the moment because there's no water source out there. But we do have a hose pipe that can be rigged up. Um, however, it's also time to start planting out some of these seedlings that have grown to the point 
where they just need repotting. I've got some sweet peas especially that need planting out. Uh, I had a tip from a lady, do not plant borage in the ground. So it's going exclusively into pots and nowhere near the ground. Purple broccoli needs planting out and I'd say the kale. Morning glory, more sweet peas and salad. It's just starting to look a bit full in here. Where I'm going to be planting this out, at the same time, I want to give Nick a hand with raking gravel all over the drive. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you this week's garden update. waited until the last possible moment of today to actually move into it because it's been really hot and sunny all day. It's just starting to cool down. Clouds are starting to come so there could be a few drops of rain, a bit of respite. But yeah, everything's ready to go in. Is everything okay there? Is everything to your standards? Flora? Merlo? Hello? Flora? Flora? A little while later and I'm finally in there. Woohoo! It's not complete but it's a good start. The reason why it's not complete is because it also doubles as a sauna. I've even brought a chair so I can sweat it out. Anyway, Here's my start, it's good. I've got some planters. I've got a couple of shelving units to put old plant pots on. I've got some chilies up there at the top. Uh, over in the corner, I've got some peppers. I've got another pepper plant there. And yeah, I say in the next few days, I will probably have more of what's inside out here. I am knackered, it's getting late gonna go and have a shower make dinner just gotta say isn't this grapevine looking absolutely beautiful that's enough for today I'd love to go jump in the pool but it's not quite that hot yet although it isn't here it's really hot my bra is like a swimming pool I actually have dirt in my cleavage the one really really nice positive thing that I've just seen just on my way out the door is this plum tree. Look at those tiny little baby plums.
hopefully hoarding jam jars for a year and a half is going to pay pay up this year <laughs> So on this week's shopping trip, we found something new as a treat for the doggies. Pig's ears. But I'm gonna boil them first. One euro, 73 for two. Bargain. Gonna need a bigger pan. Flora, do you not want your smoked salmon and scrambled eggs? No? It's okay. You're gonna have pig's ears soon. Just gotta get them ready. And good girl. They've been taken off the boil. They've had some time off. They're now at a perfect doggy temperature. We're outside and the door is shut. You are not taking these in the house. Mm. Don't they look appetizing? Who wants to be first? Let me guess, Merlo. Is there a bigger ear? No, they're pretty, pretty, pretty even, I'd say. Merlo? Good boy. Here's your ear. Here we go, Mrs. I don't want my smoked salmon and scrambled eggs. <laughs> go and enjoy your ear. Don't make a pig's ear of it. Good girl. Time for a bit more raking. He drops the piles. I rake them. Could call it reiki. <laughs> We're getting to the time of year where flies are now starting to appear. So I'm trying to get Nick to keep shutting the doors to the point where there's occasional swear words happening with, please, can you shut? <clears throat> Add an expletive. Door. We're outside. He's left the sausage factory door open. I have a really horrible feeling about what I'm about to find and it's not a fly. Flora. Flora. Get that out of our bedroom. Flora, get out. Flora, no, 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 no. Flora, where's your ear? Take it out. Go on. Well, as you can see behind me, the yard has now been transformed. So we had a big pile of the gravel there that's all gone now I've been wheelbarrowing it around the yard Claire's been raking it out um, little patch over there which I'm gonna leave just until we've finished making concrete and things over there and then we'll smarten that little corner up but straight away immediate transformation <laughs> looking good Three. 
Hi. Hi and welcome to Wine, Wine of the, the week. week. And what do we have this week? Uh, we have wine. Okay. <laughs> we have a red wine. Yay! And this was from our visitors this week, Glenn and Derek. Thank you very much Thank again. You. You've seen there's been a bit of a transformation this week. Uh, yes, we had to hire in some help, but uh, yeah, it's uh, transformational. It's been, it's been a gravelly week, <laughs> a grave week. What do they call gravel in French? Gravat. Gravat. Ah. <laughs> I thought it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have enjoyed this week's episode please click like and if you've not already considered doing so please subscribe you can also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter or on our website at www.thexatbutchers.com and any minute now we'll share the tasting notes to this wine with you it's a little bit of a fight to get in. It's because I'm in the. It's because I'm in the sun. The sun's in my eyes. <laughs> you can do it blindfolded. <laughs> I know. We may have to try that theory. <laughs> so this is a Peshamond wine, which is from down near Bergerac. So not a million miles away from here. Right, I've been sat in the cold. <laughs> ah, that was work. <laughs> Here we are, my darling. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, cheers, cheers to a lovely week. Mm. Oh. oh, well, they don't know what they're missing. No. Do. So, cheers, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.